Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is Craftsmas episode 36, and we have a fun one for you. Remember the glass bowl that I bought from Ikea? We are going to be etching a monogram on it, so you're going to need some type of glass container. You're also going to need your vinyl, which this is just a monogram, and this was just a scrap piece of Oracle 651 that I cut it on. You're also gonna need Armor Etch, this came from Hobby Lobby. It is $22.99, but you can use a 40% off coupon. You're gonna need gloves, a sponge brush, parchment paper, transfer tape, water, squeegee, and an Easy Weaving wooden pick. Now, if you'll give me a moment, I'll get the camera angle changed so you can see everything that we are doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is take and open up the glass container and you can really use it either way to set this out, but I want to edge the top so we are going to use it with the ribbed side on bottom. So the first thing I did was just remove the plastic. Now I'm going to try to remove the label as cleanly as possible. Removing labels to me is one of the biggest pains on the hiney of doing crafting stuff. So we're gonna go slow. There we go. which I don't know why they don't put the label on the outside of the plastic. That makes more sense to me. So now what I'm going to do is spray it generously with the denatured alcohol. You can use regular alcohol if you like, but I always have denatured alcohol around from doing signs. So now that that is clean, we're gonna take and weed our vinyl, which because we want the monogram to be the part that's etched on there, we're going to remove the inner just the letters and leave everything else around it. So that way that is what is going to show on the, there we go. We caught part of the monogram. There we go. So there you go. So as you can see, we left the outer portion of the monogram. Now I'm just going to take and cut off some transfer tape. And I made the monogram about six inches. My craft area is atrocious right now. I'm trying to get everything together for all of these projects and trying to keep everything organized has not been the easiest thing. That's why if you look up over there, Jeremy, show that my I'm creative, you can't expect me to be neat too, is a very true saying for my craft area and I know I'm not the only one. And I'm trying to get a lot of videos shot in advance, but we had a lot of things come up, so now I'm running a little bit behind compared to what I would normally like to be. So now I'm just squeegeeing the transfer tape onto the vinyl. Yep. Okay. Now, let's 
move our bowl back so we can see what we are going to do. Okay. Yep. This is not wanting to cooperate. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Squeegee that down. Now this is not going to be perfectly center because I got parts stuck and I don't have time to change it. Normally I would spend a little bit more time laying it out, but as you know, for these projects, we want to keep them quick and fast. Actually, that is pretty centered. As you can see, we wanted it to fill up most of the outside of this. And we want some overlap because we are going to be putting a lot of the armor edge down. Gloves are important. Don't want to mess up my hands any more than they already are. Now this week I will be at the quilt show, the Houston International Quilt Show, shopping. So if you are a quilter and you see me, let me know. I will be up there on Thursday and Friday and then we are going to Always Shake, the Nutcracker Market on Saturday. It gets dry around the edges. There we go. Now this stuff stinks. Just to let you know. And don't worry about applying too much. Once it's through etching, I'm going to take and put the leftover etch cream back in the jar. We went and saw Bohemian Rhapsody today, and I really liked that movie. We go see a lot of movies together as a family because right now with a business, I'm always in town. It's hard to leave, and then Cameron's soccer and all that fun kind of stuff. So, And there's not a lot of museums or anything around in our area, so I like to go to the movies. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my sponge brush, scrape the excess back into the bottle. Bless you, darling. Okay, now we're going to let this set for about 15 minutes and then I'll show you how to clean it off and show you your finished etch project. This has been sitting for about 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do first is just take a piece of paper from the backing of the vinyl. And scrape as much of this off as I can. And put it back in the container. There we go. grab my paper towels. So first I'm going to take and just wipe off as much of the excess as I can. So that is wiped. Now I'm going to take just, this is just purified water. I'll wash it again after the video is finished hand wash. This is not made for the dishwasher. And just clean off all of the excess. 
There we go. Now we'll remove the vinyl. Y'all don't understand what kind of a day it's been. Okay. Just taking and using my pick to lift it all up. There goes my face. And look how cute that turned out. So now I'm gonna go wash it and once it's clean, then it is good to go and you can give this as a gift. Tell me how precious this wouldn't be to give to a teenager or any woman in your life. You could do a quote, you could do the monogram, you could do it however you wanted to. Now remember, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when we post new videos, which is every single day of the week, all the way through December the 21st. Other than that, don't forget to check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, as well as my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher, which is where I do all things makeup and all things Disney. So I think that's it, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.